Hi, welcome back to Mark and Cindy's Food Forest in Lutz, Florida, and I am Tropical Fruit Man. Today's video we're going to look at is the carambola, also known as the star fruit, and we'll take a look at that today. Now this is a unique fruit. It's very good tasting if you get the right variety. There's probably a bunch of varieties of, of these. I don't know how many, but some of them taste better than others. Uh, this tree here is actually uh, a very uh, vigorous tree. It, it actually puts out a lot of growth. Uh, this one we replaced. We lost one tree a few years ago that got killed in a freeze and we replaced it. Uh, this tree is great to have because this tree gives off a lot of fruit. Uh, you see these star fruits in the supermarket sometimes going for like two dollars for one star fruit. And I'm telling you, you plant one of these and you're good to go. You'll get a lot of fruit on this. They'll start producing pretty quick. Uh, this one, once we got it in the ground, it took a little bit of time to get going, maybe a year and a half. But as you can tell now, it's growing pretty good and it's putting out a lot of fruit. This year it actually missed the summer crop. We had some odd weather uh, last spring and I think that affected the uh, the blooming on this tree and it gives you two yields, at least two yields a year, one in the summer and then one in the winter here in Central Florida. And it's actually a uh, it's actually one of the greatest, one of the best trees to have. The reason being is that it doesn't take a lot of maintenance for this low maintenance tree I've heard of some people say that you can actually uh, just let it go. Don't even like do a whole lot to it and it'll still put out fruit for you. I do fertilize the tree. I give it a 8-10-10 or a 10-10-10 and uh, just every couple of months and it seems to be doing very well. Uh, actually, a lot of people tell me they don't fertilize it at all and it still puts out fruit. So it's a good tree to have, low maintenance. It'll give you plenty of fruit. So let's take a look at the tree here. You can see all the fruit that it does have on it. And we'll talk about the tree just a little bit, just to give you an idea of what the tree is all about. So this tree basically is common in East Asia, throughout the Pacific Islands. Uh, they're cultivated commercially in India, actually in Southeast Asia, Southern China, Taiwan, and in the Southern United States. They're also grown in Central America and in South America and throughout the Southwest, Southwestern United States and Florida and in parts of the Caribbean also and even in Africa. And they're grown uh, as, uh, as ornamentals also. It's a beautiful tree actually. It spreads out really nice. But again, the, the great thing about this tree is that all the fruit that it does put out, it's a great tree for fruit production. Uh, it's not one of my more favorite fruits as far as taste goes, but you know what? I'm all about eating fruit for the nutritional content, and these do have their benefits nutritionally. But you may want to know also, if you have kidney disease, that you want to avoid this fruit. The reason being is that it has a neurotoxin in it for people with kidney disease, and it uh, is not healthy for people who have kidney disease to eat this fruit. So you want to avoid it if you have that kind of an issue going on. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the fruit here. And we'll cut it in half. And I usually like to cut off the green edges here. I'll just kind of like skim that off a little bit. Here and here. And the different spines that it has here. You get rid of the green part on there. And you cut the fruit and there you go, star fruit. And again, it, it's not my most favorite tasting. It's actually hard to describe as far as the taste goes. It's almost kind of like a citrus with a kind of green pepper kind of texture to it that makes sense but uh, it, is, it is a good tasting fruit some of them are sweeter than others this one is actually pretty good now I don't know which variety this is but the ones you typically get in the grocery store are not as tasty as the ones you can grow at home uh, I think the ones in the grocery stores are Arkin 
variety. And again, I'm not sure which variety this is. I think it's one of the Asian varieties, but it is pretty good. This one's pretty good tasting, actually, compared to some that I've tasted in the past. But a great fruit. Uh, this tree is really high up there when it comes to fruit production. Puts out a lot of fruit. So I'm all about a lot of fruit and nutritional content in the fruit. So if you're thinking about purchasing a tree that will give you a lot of fruit, this is the way you want to go. Give you a lot. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. And we're living in some tumultuous times now in, the, in our country with things going on politically and uh, just a lot going on. People are kind of unsure where they stand. And, you know, I always encourage people to, to look to the Lord because if in times like these, the only hope we really have is not in man. Man cannot deliver what we need in this life, but God will take care of us and he will give us the peace that we're looking for in this life. So I always look to the Lord Jesus Christ to give me that peace. And uh, I urge you to consider him as your Lord and Savior. So thank you again for watching today. We'll be back again with uh, another video shortly. So and before we see you again, be blessed and keep growing.